Hey, anyone want to call me? One triple eight five eight five sick. One triple eight five eight five seven four two five. You call. Presented by Playground. By Playground, your premier gaming destination located just over the Mercier Bridge, only minutes from downtown Montreal. If you want to give me a call, now's a chance for you to grab a line and you'll be able to get through. I had some pretty good calls yesterday. You can do it now. 1 585 7425. 1 585 7425. I mean, look, every, everybody likes Carrie Price, but I mean, just it was ill advised. I don't think it was a very smart thing to do. If you want to jump on a line, here's your chance to call me because uh, I'm not going to be around for after the game. It's, uh, it's you know, I'm probably going to be around for another 10 minutes or so. So you have about 10 minutes to give me a call here. Or else we're going to bring up some comments and we'll get to your comments. one 585 one 1-888-585-7425. Uh, where are we going exactly? Do you want veterans to come in two years or still tank for the next three years? No, no. You don't have to tank for the next three years. This year you tank. Next year you end up getting, uh, you know, hopefully you, t- you, you pick in the top five this year and you pick in the top 10 next year. And then I think it should be enough. You really need a top five pick this year. Top four would be even better. Top three would be even better. There's a lot of them that are legit, but there's uh, actually there's the top five. You're good. Top five. You're really good. There's the Swede that's very good. There's Dvorsky that's very good. There's Michkov that's very good. There's Fantilli that's very good. There's obviously Bedard. Uh, you know, top five. You got to draft in the top five. Rob in Waterloo. Rob, what's going on? Hey, Tony, what are you? How's it going? Good. How are you? Good, good. Thanks. Hey, love the show. Tony, I'm, I'm, I'm just, um, you know, we're talking about Shane Wright tonight and Hab Slavkovsky, and I'm, I'm with you 100% on the tank. I've always been on the tank, but I, I start to worry for the simple fact that the talent generation that we're seeing. So if we did tank, and let's say we got one of the top three, Fantilli, Bedard, or Michkov, you now have Suzuki, you now have Caulfield, you're going to have Slavkovsky, you're going to have Gouli. And I live right in the center of Leafville here. I'm in Waterloo, Ontario. Mm-hmm. Are we setting ourselves up for a Toronto situation where we got five guys that are going to be making big money and we yeah. won't be able to support them with lower, lower, you know what I mean? Cast beside them. Um, let's not forget the cap is going up every year, right? It is. But is it going to go up substantial, substantial enough to be able to cover the salaries? I mean, if but hold on have, a second, though. So it's a great it. question, eh? By the way, Rob, it's a great question. Pardon but okay. Toronto's got, and you correct me if I'm wrong, I don't have it here in front of me, but if memory serves me well, they have Tavares at $11 million. Yes. They have Marner, uh, Matthews, I believe, at 10.6. Correct. They have Marner at just know. over 10. Yeah. I think. And uh, so... You know, the Canadians' wow. highest salary right now, they got Nylander at 6.9, by the way, I believe. The Canadians' yeah, yeah. highest salary right now is Suzuki at 7.875. So, A, okay. the cap is going up, and B, Suzuki 7.875 is not Tavares's 11 million. So, if no. you can get Caulfield, you there. if you can get Caulfield at around Suzuki's salary, at that point, do you think that any of these other guys are going to be paid more than Suzuki and Caulfield? I don't think so. So I don't think the cap situation is going to get as bad as Toronto's. It's a great I question, hope, though. I eh? hope you're right. I hope you're right because, um, you know, we've got a great future. I mean, you know, once in a generation, you're going to see three Hab, line, three hab kids on potentially a World Junior uh, uh, squad you mm-hmm. got to think at least one or two are going to have a serious shot. And in, in four years, 
With the defense as well, I don't know how Logan Mayu is going to turn out. Watch out. We'll be back. Listen, I, I think uh, I think Logan Mayu is going to is. I, I I think Logan Mayu is going to be a really good player. I mean, based on what I've seen right now, I mean, this guy is he's really something. I mean, he's a very valuable player to that team. I mean, when he's out of the lineup, uh, they don't usually win their games. When he's in, you know, when he's in the lineup, I mean, he's contributing. This guy scores a couple of goals. He knows how to quarterback a power play. Really good. Like really, really good. One more comment before I sure, Rob. Um, I, I'm in KW, which is Kitchener Waterloo. I yeah. don't see Mishar play for the Kitchener Rangers. Yeah. Um, the vision, the vision is incredible. He just doesn't have people to play at his level here in Kitchener. It's clear to see on the ice. He's two steps ahead of the rest of the guys on his team. Uh, but we got we got a bright spot there. We got another bright one coming up. Uh, at uh, center or wing, in your opinion? Uh, I would say at wing myself. I think so too. A little, a little small, a little small for center. Uh, I know it doesn't mean that much in the NHL today, but he's, he's more of a winger in my opinion. I think so too. And, um, you know, for the most part, he's played mostly wing in his career and stuff like that. I I think they wanted to see if he could play center. Uh, but I think he's, I think he's a winger too. And and you know what? I I think, I think one day he's going to end up playing on a line with Slavkowski. You know, one day he'll play on a line with Slavkowski. I believe it. Look, you know, a lot of people see Slavkowski playing the off wing on a line with Suzuki and Caulfield one day, but who knows? Maybe Slavkowski yeah. ends up playing left wing and Mashar ends up playing right wing. And now all of a sudden you have a Slavkowski Mashar duo on one line. You have a uh, Caulfield Suzuki duo on another line. Maybe Kirby Doc centers that line with Mashar and Slavkowski. Maybe he stays on the line with Suzuki and Caulfield, but. <laughs> You know, you can have two pretty good lines here in the next little while here with the Canadians. There's no doubt about it. Hey, Rob, thanks, man, for calling from Waterloo. Pretty cool of you. Cheers, buddy. Keep going with the show. It's beautiful. What a beautiful thing you're doing. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I really am. I feel like I'm uh, I'm reinvigorated, rejuvenated. Um, Raymond Singh says, relax on Slavkowski for anyone giving him heck. He's uh, he's 18. Relax. He also says that Gallagher is not going anywhere. No, I'm going to agree with him. I don't think he's going anywhere right now anyway. That'll be really tough. Paul is in Montreal. Let's take another call. How you doing, Paul? Hi, how's it going? It's, uh, it's actually David by name. I think uh, you misunderstood me. I said Alpha Male from the, the, the chat. You were talking with me. Oh, okay, hold on a second. Alpha Male in the chat is you? Yeah, exactly. So you're David. I'm David. That's my real name, yeah. Okay, very, very good. David, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Tony? Good, thank you very much. Very good. Perfect, perfect. I was calling you because I wanted to talk about the Habs a bit. I wanted to ask you maybe just those two questions I was asking about. The first one being, did you have actually any information on the two young goalies and the juniors? Have you heard anything from them, from anyone? Are they good? Are they, like, good potential? Or is it just, like, decent? Look, talking with scouts, the most I'm getting is they're, you know, the scouts I've talked to are convinced they're going to be National Hockey League goaltenders. But every time I ask for opinion, scouting reports and stuff like that, and I talk to scouts or I talk to independent scouts, it's always hard to get a real good scouting report or a precise one on goalies in particular. Very, very tough. The toughest out of any position when we're talking goalies. Yeah, I see, I see. And for the tank, I don't know if you remember, we were talking about the tanking. I know, you know, you were saying that they had to sign some players to- you know, I, Jake Allen, I don't think was a good signing. If you want to trade him and you want to tank, they should be trading veterans, like, you know, guys, especially the guys that don't have a contract anymore at the end of the year, like Godofan and uh, Sean Monahan and, and Durant. All these guys can be traded pretty easily and uh, yeah. make room for young players and a break the tank. I would not have extended uh, Jake Allen, but very liked by his teammates. And, you know, it's not because they extended him that it means that they're absolutely not going to trade him. I mean, they could very well end up trading him as well, even though they extended him. I mean, that could happen. Hey, thanks so much, Paul. Uh, Reminding you, I think that's it for the calls for tonight, and that was brought to you by Playground. I'm Marinaro, and that clip you just watched is from our most recent episode of The Sick Podcast. Once again, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's absolutely free. And you'll be notified when we go live.
Grab Marinero. Tell your friends about it. This podcast, like me, is pretty sick.